Hello, and welcome to this video on renting versus buying a home. In today's fast paced world, the decision to live is a crucial one. The two most common options are renting and buying a home. Both have their pros and cons, and it's essential to carefully evaluate your personal needs, financial situation, and future plans before making the decision. In this video, we'll be discussing the benefits and drawbacks of both options so you can make an informed choice. Let's get started. The biggest difference between renting and buying is ownership and control. When you rent a property, you are paying for the right to live in someone else's property, but you do not have any ownership rights. On the other hand, when you buy a home, you become the owner of the property and you have the right to make changes to the property sell it or pass it down to your heirs. Additionally, with restrictions on your use of property and can face eviction if you violate the terms of the lease. With home ownership, you have control and stability, but you have the responsibility and costs associating with maintaining the property. So what are some cons on renting a house? Those include flexibility. Renters have flexibility to move to a new location without the hassle of selling a home. No maintenance responsibility. Renters do not have to pay for any maintenance or repairs to the property. Lower upfront cost. Renting typically requires only a first month's rent and a security deposit rather than a huge, large down payment and closing costs. No property taxes. Renters do not have to pay any property taxes. Amenities. Renters may have the access to amenities such as a pool, a gym, a laundry facility that were if you owned a house. Location. Renters have the ability to live in areas that they may not be able to afford to buy in. No risk of foreclosure. Renters do not have to worry about losing their home due to the inability to pay their mortgage. No loss of equity. Renters do not have to worry about the loss of equity if the property value decreases. Some cons of renting a house include limited control. Renters have limited control over changes to the property and may risk the permission to take even small changes. No building of equity. Renters do not build any equity in the property and you do not have the option to sell it for a profit. No loss of equity. Renters do not have to worry about the loss of equity if property values decrease. Some cons of renting a home. Limited control. Renters have limited control over changes to the property and may have to ask permission to make even the smallest changes. No building of equity. Renters do not build equity in a property and do not have the option to sell it for a profit. Limited tax benefits. Renters do not have the same tax benefits as homeowners, such as the ability to deduct mortgage interest on their taxes. The lack of stability. Renters may face evictions or rent increases and may have to move frequently. Limited privacy. Renters may have to deal with the landlords or property managers who have the right to enter the property without notice. No long-term investment. Renting is not a long-term investment and you won't see any return on your money. Limited customization. Renters may not be allowed to make any significant changes to the property, such as painting or installing new fixtures. No sense of community. Renters may not have the same sense of community that comes from owning a home in a neighborhood. Some pros of buying a house. Building equity. Over time, homeowners can build equity in their property by paying their mortgage. Tax benefits. Homeowners can deduct mortgage interest and property taxes on their income taxes. Stability. Buying a home can provide a sense of stability and permanency. Control. Homeowners have the freedom to make changes to their property as they see fit. Potential for appreciation. The value of the property can appreciate over time, potentially leading to the profit when the home is sold. Sense of community. Owning a home in a neighborhood can provide a sense of community and belonging. Building credit. Paying a mortgage on time can help improve your credit score. Forced savings. Making a mortgage payment forces a person to save money, invest into the property. Forced planning. Having a mortgage forces a person to plan and budget their finances. It gives a sense of responsibility and accountability. 
Potential rental income. If a homeowner has an extra room or space, they can rent it out for extra income. Cons of buying a house. Some cons of buying a house include high upfront costs. Buying a house requires a significant financial investment, including a down payment and closing costs. Maintenance and repairs. Homeowners are responsible for all maintenance and repairs of the property, which can get very expensive. Risk of foreclosure. If a homeowner is unable to make mortgage payments, they risk foreclosure and losing the property. Limited mobility. It can be difficult and costly to move if the homeowner wants or needs to relocate. Limited liquidity. Real estate is considered an illiquid asset, which means it's hard to convert into cash quickly. Risk of depreciation. The value of the home can decrease over time, especially in a slow market. Limited flexibility. Homeowners may not be able to afford to move to a new location if they are locked into a long-term mortgage. Risk of overspending. Many people end up overspending on their home, buying more house than they can afford. Force long-term commitment. Having a mortgage means a long-term commitment to that property. You can't move out easily. Limited rental income potential. In some cases, the potential rental income may not cover the mortgage payments and other expenses. Both renting and buying a house have their pros and cons. Renting allows more flexibility and typically requires less financial commitment up front, but renters do not build equity in the property and may have to move more frequently. On the other hand, buying a house allows the buyer to build equity over time and may offer more stability in the long term, but it requires a significant financial upfront investment.